at four, New Orleans police are investigating a deadly shooting on the Crescent City Connection. You're looking live at the scene on your left, and what you're looking at on your right is rush hour traffic backed up for miles. Yeah, right now, the Crescent City Connection is closed at the St. Charles Avenue exit, while police investigate the scene at an undetermined location. WDSU reporter Eli Brand is gathering information. He is live with what we know so far. Eli, a lot of moving parts here. Yeah, Travers, a lot of moving parts for sure. What we know right now, one person is dead after a shooting. They don't know exactly where it happened, possibly on the CCC, but right now police are trying exactly to determine where that was right now. We don't have any further information. We are working right now to try and figure out who that victim is, if there are any suspects, if there have been any arrests. We simply right now do not know, but I want to show you what we can see here. We showed you some of those westbound lanes earlier, exactly how bad that traffic is. These are the eastbound lanes. We are in the CBD right now. These are the people heading from the West Bank back to the East Bank. You can see a lot of cars, they are moving. They're moving slowly, but they are making their way this way. You may see some cars going westbound right now, too. Those are not the westbound lanes. That is the HOV lane. That is the only lane going towards the West Bank right now. We're also going to show you a few pieces of video that we have. This video that's about to come up on your screen right now is of that scene. A driver that was driving eastbound saw those westbound lanes on the other side, saw some police activity, got some video, sent it over to us in that. You can see police investigating that westbound lane taking some pictures out of their vehicles standing on the westbound lanes making sure to try and do what they can to try and get some of that investigating done in these early hours of this situation that is going on we're going to show you some more video now that we got of the drone six drone just up on the St. Charles exit where it is closed or where it was close to being closed. You can see traffic, how far back it goes as the drone goes up traffic right now from where I'm looking still backed up a very long ways heading back towards eastbound. And also we're going to show you right now some live traffic cams. We showed them to you a little bit earlier. You can see that traffic just how bad it is in those traffic cams with those live pictures. Right now we're working to get more information. Like I said, we don't know if there are any suspects. We don't know if there have been any arrests made. As we get that information, we're going to get it to you here on air as quickly as we can right here on WDSU and on our website, WDSU.com. But for now, reporting live in the CBD, Eli Brand, WDSU News. All right, Eli, thank you. Let's get to more breaking news, this time from the special...